let's move on, man. To uh, we got two topics left, kinda. Uh, but yeah, we still on some Marvel, but not really Marvel, a different type of Marvel. Uh, but I'm gonna come to you first, Lamont, and how you mm-hmm. feel about this. And this has to do with Venom. Mm. And I have this report right here from Variety. It says Venom Let There Be Corners will open in theaters earlier than expected. Now, guys, I, if you are if you're reading this or if reading this, if you're watching this via live or on the replay. There's a link down to this article down in the description box for you to read at your own leisure. And I'm going to go ahead and say this before I um, uh, react to, I mean, give you my thoughts. I haven't even seen the latest trailer for this. Uh, I'm going to check it out, but I hate to sound like a hater, but it's just not a film that I'm excited about mm-hmm. or that I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if it's great, it's a win-win. If it's great, we get a great movie. Uh, if it's, I mean, it's a win-win whether the movie sucks or not. If it's a great movie, we get a great movie. If the movie sucks, that increases the chance of um, of Marvel, Disney, acquiring, getting more power um, for Spider-Man. But Venom Let There Be Carnage will open in theaters earlier than expected. Sony has uh, altered release plans for Venom Let There Be Carnage for the, for the fifth and hopefully final time. In a surprise move, the comic book adaptation star Tom Hardy Excuse me, as the journalist turned Alien Symbiote would debut in theater earlier on October 1st. The Venom sequel was scheduled to premiere October of last year, but due to the pand- pandemic, it was pushed to June of this year and then late September and then most recently October 15th. But now they said Let There Be Carnage will be coming out on the 1st of October. Uh, it goes on to say this is mainly because of the success of Shang-Chi at the box office. So that's good. But how are you? Um, how how are you feeling uh, about this, Lamont? Let us know. Let us know. I don't know, man. I get a little nervous when they be bouncing movies around in this manner. Um, at one point in time, wasn't HBO Max hinting that they was going to do in theater and stream, and then they said, "No, nah, we're not doing that." And that could be because of how good Shane Chi did. Um, B. Avery, I'm a little nervous. I can't lie. Um, I didn't. I wasn't a fan of them doing Venom without Spider-Man in the first Tom Hardy movie. Mm -hmm. But let me just say this. He killed it. I enjoyed him on screen. I I actually went to that movie theater expecting to not be happy. And I was happy. I I was satisfied. He did a great job. Um, There was some little snafus here and there. But again, I'm still kind of like I've been seeing Spider-Man with Venom my whole entire life. So it felt a little odd not to see Spider-Man, but I could deal with that. And now we're getting ready to see Venom and Carnage on the same screen, minus Spider-Man. But they've got a pretty good surrounding cast, so I'm iffy on why they're bouncing this thing around. But I think that the movie be able, believe it or not, I think it's going to be good. Okay, we'll see. I like I like the ending enthusiasm. Yeah. Uh, Elliot, how you feeling, man? Well, listen, this is this is this is my thoughts on this Venom Let There Be Carnage. It will be a turd in the way. Ooh, it will ooh. be terrible, dude. Like ooh. this movie, I am not looking for like like you said, Brandon, I am not looking forward to this movie at all. Um <laughs> Spider-Man, yeah. Spider-Man list Venom makes no sense to me whatsoever. Just the idea of the symbiote and no Spider-Man sim on his chest. It's literally just like a money grab. Uh literally a money grab in this point, especially if that movie being so successful when it came out three years ago. Uh um, the trailers really haven't sold me. Eddie Brock, I love Tom Hardy, man. A hell of an actor, but I think this is like a, a he, he's raising his talent, in my opinion, with Venom, man. Like, I, I'm just not a fan of this franchise. I'm going to see it. Don't get me wrong. It's comic book IP and all that and uh, and all that stuff. And, you know, recently with the trailer that we got for Spider-Man 2 with Carnage, or I should say Venom and Miles Morales and Spider-Man. I don't know. This is sometimes they like to hint at things that this might be the future. We might see Tom Holland and Tom Hardy on screen together, but I'm, I could care less about Venom mm. and, and Sony could care less too. Cause they're just like, can we drop it here? Drop it there. You guys want to buy this? No. Okay. Let's just put it out October 1st. We'll, we'll see what comes of it. I, I don't think this film's going to do that well, to be honest. Um, we'll see. Be, be go ahead, go that, ahead, bro. that inconsistency with the scheduling Whew. usually is never a good thing for a movie. You guys are more professionals than I am in the movie reviewing space. And you've seen when they push these movies forward, backward, left, right, what happens. To do with but, it. Uh, we, we have a huge super chat. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Oh, my God. What is going on, man? Like, oh! <laughs> mm. 
my mm-hmm. God. Oh, E Man, I got you. E Man's movie reviews. $40 super chat. Mm. Venom without no Spider Man is whack. Facts. I think we all agree with that. It's a turd. This is my contribution to help skip this topic. Otherwise, <laughs> you know what I'm here. Hashtag yes. Well, here you go. Here's your yes, sir. Here he is. Yeah, yes. yes. Well, let's go ahead and skip this topic because I don't have <laughs> nothing else to say about it myself. You know what I'm saying? Mawr is, is yes, uh, yes. shining you out. You know what I'm saying? That's what's oh, up. Man. But yeah, that's our boy E-Man. Uh, thank you so much, my brother. I appreciate it. Uh, there's a link of his channel and information down in the description box. And also, uh, he is on my channel tab as well as Lamont. Um, so y'all make sure y'all uh, go and subscribe to his channel as well. He does lives every Wednesday and Friday. Uh, 7 p.m. CST. E man, thank you so much, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, he he's happy about uh, <laughs> and so let's go.